Hi, this is Dr. Deanna Marie Mason. Thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel dedicated to proactive parenting. I thought today it might be good to talk about what is proactive parenting. Proactive parenting is simply a method to raise happy and healthy children while instilling values. I have had the pleasure of developing this method over more than 20 years of working with all types of families at every socio-economic level as well as on different continents. And what I know from my experience and from the research that I use to ground my method is that this method can work for every family regardless of your situation. It doesn't matter if you're a mom and a dad, two moms, two dads, a single parent, a blended family where you're bringing in a parent and children from one family with parent and children from other families. It's, it's a method that respects the uniqueness of every family. Now, proactive parenting has a couple foundational principles and I'd like to spend some time today talking about what those are. The first is that every child is perfect moment to moment. Now, there is a developmental cycle that children have to go through to mature. They need to walk before they can run. They need to be able to do basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division before they can do algebra. Those are developmental sequences that all children pass through. But the manner that each individual child goes through those sequences is unique. And so oftentimes parents talk about, I have an eight-year-old. Well, yes, they have a chronological age of eight, but within that year of eight, that child might be one or two years ahead in certain areas of their development or one or two years behind in other areas. So they might be ahead in their cognitive development, but behind in their emotional development. So we look at every child uniquely based on where they are in their developmental age not just their chronological age, which is the number of birthdays. And having that ability to view a child based on where they're at individually allows parents to tweak their parenting techniques to really connect with that child and have their effort really work. So that's one foundational principle of proactive parenting. Another foundational principle of proactive parenting is that it's not just enough of what we are doing to our child in terms of putting limits or discipline or different parenting techniques. What's also important is to understand the situation in which we're trying to apply those techniques. Depending on our life, we may have work, we may have other family commitments, we may have our own hobbies or interests. We might have one, two, three, four, five, or more children. Those contextual pieces influence our ability to do things with our children, to be a parent to our children. And the techniques that I use if I am a stay-at-home parent will be slightly different than the techniques I will use if I'm a working parent or a parent who travels or a single parent who only has my children every other weekend. So we need to look at what is happening in the context of our family and adjust our parenting techniques to fit that reality, not fight it. Because what can happen if we try to fight it is we try to be a perfect parent and then we can't complete our, our goals and we quit and we decide we're not gonna do anything. And then there's a crisis with our child and then we try again to be a perfect parent. And then when we can't meet our goal, we quit and we stop again. And that's, that starting and stopping never yields good results. So what we want to do is look at our situation, look at where our child is in their development, and then create a set of parenting strategies that actually reflect what we can do with our energy levels, with our resources, and then plan around that so that we don't set ourselves up for failure and we don't just let things be and hope for the best, but we are still active, but at a level that's sustainable. Which leads us to the next point of proactive parenting. The proactive parenting method is not so much a parenting technique or even a method as a lifestyle. It's something that we can start when our baby is born 
and carry on every day throughout their entire life. There's a small investment daily to this method that yields really strong, permanent results. And it's the whole idea of, again, going back to what I just said about having something that's sustainable that allows us to have that daily investment of time that yields those great end results. Another part of productive parenting that's really important to talk about is that the method is for everyone. And so the way one family is going to enact it is going to be different than another family. And that's where I talk about my flexible parenting techniques. The techniques themselves aren't flexible, but how they're applied in every family is. It's respectful of the great variation that every family has. What works for me and my family, the way I apply it will be different than the way you apply things in your family. But with this method, you're still going to yield results. And what are those results? Those results that are the results that we anticipate in proactive parenting is not that our children have perfect behavior because there is no perfect child. What the results we're looking for or anticipating is that our child has really grounded, deep values that will then direct their behavior. Now, if we have a child who has beautiful behavior, but only when they're in front of an adult or when they know they're being watched, that's not a value-driven child. A value-driven child is a child who has the same behavior when they're alone, when they're with their parent, when they're with other adults, or in any situation, because those values drive their behavior. And there are very specific tasks that we can do as a parent to help our child develop those deep, strong values. And so the method is focused on not creating a only, I should say, not only a good behavior, but that our child understands the values that ground those behaviors so that they can apply them in every situation. Finally, when we use proactive parenting strategies, we can be assured that there is a continuity and a continuousness throughout our child's life. So we're not creating rules and discipline and limits for a five-year-old and then changing them when they're 10 and then changing them again when they're 15. Rather, in proactive parenting, we set up what we want to teach our children in terms of values and then set up a long-term process in which with a daily investment, we're going to teach our children these values over time that are going to prevent and limit the most common behavioral problems while simultaneously teaching them the values they need to have that good behavior, to make those good decisions, to have appropriate actions in certain situations. And doing that over the course of a lifetime for a child means that they don't know any different. It means that they will believe what we are teaching them in terms of values, what it is to be a good person, what it is to be a member of society, how to relate to other people. And having that long-term view means that we just continue to flex and adjust those limits and discipline throughout their infancy, their childhood, and their adolescence so that it makes sense the whole time. And that is power, the power of time. And that's where I go back and say that proactive parenting is more of a lifestyle than it is a parenting technique. It is a lifestyle that you can choose to implement at any point in your child's life, invest a small amount daily, and reap really large returns in a child that is value-driven and understands what it is to be a good person and to live in community with others. So that in a nutshell is what proactive parenting is. I encourage you to learn more about my method by visiting my webpage at deannamariemason.com or following me on social media, either Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or all three, and learn a little bit more about how to incorporate 
some of these ideas in your life right now. And if you want to refocus your family's energies and parenting energies towards a proactive parenting method. Thank you so much for stopping by this YouTube channel and watching this video. Please feel free to share it if you found it useful. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye.